Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another episode of our Total War Three Kingdoms Records mode. Let's play as the Kingdom of Chi. We're going to be kicking things off with a bit of a low note today, unfortunately, as uh, we try our best to defend the city of Xiangyang. It's not going to happen, let's be completely honest. They've not just got one army, they've got two relatively full-ish stacks, is I guess the best way to express it. Uh, they've got 5,400 uh, 5, plus people against my 1,207. This siege has been going on for multiple turns, so we're guaranteed to have broken walls, broken towers. It's going to be a rough time. Part of me is actually wondering if I should even bother fighting it, if I'm completely honest. But you know what? Why not? Let's see if we can cause a little bit of damage because Lu Su is going to come down here and take the city back within a... I would say handful, maybe a couple of turns afterwards. So if we can get a little bit of damage done here, then it could make something of a difference, perhaps. So let's dive on in to this battle. Y you start low, you can only go up, right? So uh, it's going to be a great session, folks. Let's dive on in. All right. Not going to be easy, that's for sure. Looks like they're coming from up over here by this corner and over here. All right. And they've got reinforcements, all, what, 2,400 of them or whatever it was, coming from over there. We have broken walls over there, and my guess is, yeah, these buildings are dead. That means probably this tower and this tower, dead and dead. This gatehouse is dead. We've got some towers still standing over here. That's nice to see. Don't know how long that's going to actually last us, though. And uh, over here, we have a couple of towers available as well. Okay, uh, so here's the deal. Here's the rub, right? If I were to garrison these walls to try and hold the line at all uh, to any degree, chances are these guys would all climb the walls, wreck us, and in the same time, we'll have all these units coming through the walls and, uh, and, and taking everything. What I'm thinking of doing instead is pulling back and defending, like, this area or something. Uh, we've got towers back over here. They should be quite helpful. We've got, uh, actually, towers are all the way back here. I don't think we have towers en route. We do not. Okay. Okay. This is a definite loss, folks. It's a definite loss. Go ahead and form you up. Got the towers back here, here, and here. I mean, I can try and, like, set up a defense back over here, see if they come towards us or something. I doubt they will. They'll probably just take the city and let the timer tick down. Which is too bad, really, because I don't have anything over here. I mean, I guess these this tower will provide some protection. Well, for when that in eventuality happens. Alright, fine. Go ahead and get you three. Get you over. I could try to hold them back here for a little bit. And then get my archers set up over here to fire away as they come towards us, maybe. We could do that. Let's put you up over. Uh, put you up over here. Put you guys, like, back over here. And let's get you guys. Let's not waste too much time on this, right? We know how this is going to end. We know exactly how this is going to end. Uh, now let's, we'll move these guys back and forth depending on where the enemy is coming from. We can go ahead and block some paths over here. In fact, you know, if I block this and this off, they might not even come from that direction. They might just come from this direction, in which case we can do something like that. Uh, what I could do is I could also block... Hmm. I could block this off. And that would funnel them down this way and this way. Which means I should be able to maybe push in with my cavalry, get some nice charges in. Maybe get a little bit of hurt in that way. Uh, I could also put my cavalry, like, way up over here. Now, here here's what we'll do. We'll, put the, we'll keep the cavalry down here. If their archers start to climb down from the walls on our side or go through the gates, then we might send up to explore. But let's just start the battle, folks. I don't know my chances here. Rather, I know my chances. And they're, and they're poor. Yeah, reinforcements are arriving. Like, this isn't even all of them. Dong He, you're already hurt. Let's try and finish you off over here, buddy. Again, whatever damage we can do, I'll be happy to have done it. Alright, alright. Here we go. Shots coming through. Up over here, what's going on? Barely do anything here. Oh, they look like they're regrouping with the reinforcements. Okay, fair enough. Are you guys... Seriously just coming up this way? Oh, great. They've got fire arrows. Fantastic. And Buddy is slowly taking hurt. Yeah, they're overwhelming us, you don't say. Love watching cavalry drop as it charges. No way, you're actually dismounting? <laughs> oh no, they're gonna climb up. This I was not counting on. Oh, that guy took a bonk to the head. 
Oh, that guy, that guy also took a bonk to the head. All right, so I'm guessing these guys are going to try climbing the walls over here while my tower back there is being set alight. Come on, shoot them down. Shoot them down, damn it. Stop the ones that are climbing. Oh, dear, here we go. Well, how many do you think we can kill before they get up here? I've already killed some of them. Down to 26. This tower is a light. Great. Can't do anything there. These guys are still regrouping. Yeah, I should have just not fought this battle, was I thinking. Yeah, they've made it through already. Wow, that was very fast. We're going to come this way through the barricades? I guess be my guest. Oh, they're going to capture the gate of the fort tower, of course. Of course. These guys made it through with just 24 deaths to their name. Here they come. They're all climbing these towers. Not a care in the world. Doesn't seem entirely historically accurate, I gotta say. <laughs> this little jump over here. Bah! Alright. Did I speed time up? I think I should. Trying to see where these guys go. Sorry for that little edit there. My audio seemed to glitch out for a second there. Um, but yeah, uh, it looks like they might actually be trying to loop all the way around to come from this side. That would be ridiculous. But it does look like that. I mean, I could march on over and block this entry point. Might as well. They're on foot, right? Yeah. Because their horses have been left on the other side. I find that hilarious. Why not just send one of these guys over, capture the gatehouse, and then send everybody else through on horseback? About to capture that one. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not going to have a good time here, folks. We're not going to have a good time at all. Could send my cavalry up. Actually tempted to send it down. No, oh, let's go. Let's get down over here. You guys are all on foot. I should be able to knock them around a little bit. All right. Archers should maybe move up a little bit over like here. We can shut their archers down. I mean, that'd be helpful. Let's go. Down over here, our cav is coming through. Kind of weird that they're they're heading this way. All right, let's speed it up. Don't have to watch this all in like regular speed. That would be pointless. All right, almost in position with the archers. Cavalry's coming through. Imagine killing all three of these uh, generals down here. Slow down a bit. We are able to fire, so let's do so. All right, we're coming through over here. I mean, this should work, in theory. In theory, this should work. Go. Come on. Be the heroes that China needs. Go, let's go, let's go. Ride them down. Okay, alright. Good hit. Good hit. Did some damage there. Alright. Keep pulling back and forth and try to wreck them. I mean... Causing damage, sure. Again, they're on foot. Oh. Scared one unit off. Let's try and scare another one off. What do we do here? Do we pull through, or do we keep uh, keep this up? Let's pull through, and then we'll come back for a charge. Because I want to get through before these uh, spears get here. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get up there, and... Turn around and charge. Charge, damn it. Charge. We gotta go through here. Ah, they're not gonna charge. Didn't, didn't have enough space to charge. Can't blame him. Alright. Come on, push through. Push through. Another enemy unit, please. This is great. Go ahead and fire over here. Oh, oh my god. I was like, oh, we're actually doing quite well. No, we're not. Put you back over there. Managed to pull back over here. Excellent. Causing some damage. Need you to turn around and fire over here. Scare some of these peasant warriors off. Need you to turn around and charge back in over here. Alright. 
Come on, let's cause some of that damage. Cause some of that glorious damage. Almost, almost. There we go. Firing away over here. Holding the line over there. Where is our... There it is. Yeah, we did some good damage there. Oh my god, we did a lot of damage there. In comes the ranged fire, unfortunately. Pull back a little bit. Yeah, we did a lot of work there, actually. We're now firing down over here. Did a lot of work there. Excellent. We're now firing up over there. Of course, you're about to lose these towers. Well, this one's very much satellite. Lost that one. This one we can try and fire down over here. Archers are firing. You know what? I'm pretty happy with how much damage we're doing, actually. Now, do we pull up this way and try to attack these guys? Get some nice rear charges and stuff in? Maybe. Good stuff. Enemies running over there. Putting fire over here. Kind of holding the line there-ish. This is, a, this is, I would say, a valiant defense. Yeah, let's get you up over here. Let's get you... I don't know about holding that area. Where's our cap? There it is. Get a good charge over here, perhaps. These towers are still ours. Turn around and fire over here. Give some fire support there. These towers should do the trick over here. Okay, here we come. Maybe we can get around and get some rear charges. I have my doubts about that. Go ahead and destroy this unit, though. God, this town is being completely devastated. Oh, hello. I see you. I see you. Taking a lot of hurt. Damn, if I'd been paying attention there, we might have been okay, actually. Be firing over there. No, hold, hold that line, damn it. There we go. Can we go? I want to set this rear charge up over here. You guys going to start firing? Oh, they already are firing. Ah, we've given up over there. This isn't good. Here they come. All right. Well, you know what? We held on for for long enough, I would say. We did we did some work. All right. There we go. Right, wave veterans are going to take some damage over here. All right. Okay. Okay. You know what? Not terrible. Not terrible. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? They've taken that tower as well. Go ahead and take this tower back. Try to, maybe. Ran out of ammo. Pull back over here. They're still firing away. These guys are out of ammo, though. Try and break something over here. Nah, it's not going to be possible. You just want to give chase? Jeez. There we go. Capturing that. Here, these guys come. Are you on horseback? You are on horseback. Okay. That'll be the death of me. Oh, they're going to come in for, like, rear charges and stuff. So very screwed. Oh, here they come. Oh, this is it, folks. They're pouring through. Oh, this is it. I mean... I'm sure we can try something here. These guys are just getting shot up. Pull you back. Alright, we can try to get up over here and maybe get a rear charge or something. This is over. Oh, here comes a rear charge from them. This is it. Tower's still firing away, but... God damn it. This one's gone. This one's able to fire. This one's able to provide some support. Our men are running, of course. Holy. And let it be known we fought valiantly. These guys are just tired. Covered in blood. Partly their own, partly of the enemy. Yikes. Yeah, that's it. I should probably just speed this up to the end. Oh my god, alright. I wouldn't call them Craven so much. They, 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 they fought valiantly. Decisive defeat, unfortunately. Oh dear. Well, I'm not surprised. Again, we did manage to cause some hurt though, it looks like. They went from having 4,000 plus to less than, to 3,600-ish, so 
You know, we did some damage. We can take pride in that. Yeah, holy crap. We almost killed 1,800. Some of these units will take some time to get back in here. I didn't. Un unfortunately, we didn't get to kill anybody completely, but Lu Su will come down and make sure that gets done. God damn. God damn. Ufa Tong is just like spreading down the river and everything as well. It's crazy. I'm more worried about a Yellow Turban Rebellion faction than I am about any of like the quote unquote legitimate factions. God. All right, well, as this is happening, I just want to mention really quickly, folks, that if you've been enjoying this series, as always, as I've said countless times before, uh, make sure you let me know by dropping a like and a comment down below. It really does help me make judgment calls on what kind of stuff to uh, I'll put on the channel, how much to do it and whatnot. So uh, don't hesitate to keep letting me know. I also like, oh, no. Damn, that's too bad. We managed to get the poison off, though, so there's that. They didn't send our, our spy back, her Schumann. That's too bad. They'll pay the price for that, though. They will pay the price for that. Damn. Uh, we lost San Young. And, okay, we've got some new armor. So, as I was saying, yeah, it just helps me make judgment calls uh, on what kind of content to do on the channel. And on top of that, it really... Uh, <laughs> I love I love reading through comments and stuff. It's always, it's always good fun. And sometimes you guys point things out that uh, I hadn't realized. Or uh, I turned a blind eye towards. For example, I didn't catch that when I was flipping through all of them. I was, I was expecting to see everything alight, and I guess... Peripheral vision at a quick glance, I wasn't catching it. But, thanks to your hawk eyes, I was able to uh, repair one of my cities. Um, let's see. Money's looking alright, at least. Wondering what to do here. I hate this area so much. It take us two turns to get down there. Now this guy over here, it'll take them two turns to... Replenish. You're already good to go. I mean, let's let's get here. Obviously, we want to get the city back. What I'm worried about is this army sneaking past and then causing us some trouble back over here. I am able to upgrade some of these places to get them, like, walls and stuff, which might be worth it. Um, just to slow their roll down a little bit. Hopefully, if both of these armies come up to attack Lu Su, I think I'll be fine up there, actually. Uh, so I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Over here, we have a bit of a rebellion popping. Yeah, there it is. And we have this army over here trying to get away. Uh, but I do think we'll attack and destroy it. While back here, Ma Tai should be able to, yeah, wreck some of these armies. Oh, wait. No. Damn. These two might be moving in towards Tang'an, but we do have decent defenses over here, so I'm fine with that. Yeah, sure, let's go ahead and upgrade you and you, both of these guys. Um, let's see. Flexibility is good. Always. Wouldn't mind that extra resolve. Intuition is all right. And there's trust as well. Armor for spear infantry. Yeah, that sounds like a reasonable thing to get. Same amount of resolve. Replenishment is different, and redeployment cost is different. Let's go with uh, trust. Keep some of these. If we, if, if the spear guards have uh, more armor, then they won't die as easily, and then we won't need the replenishment. You see what I mean? All right. So let's go with the trust here. Nice big bump to resolve as well. And uh, over here. Yeah, and Z. Hmm. Bravery is always good. Bravery is always good. There's also precision, but... Hmm, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, let's go with bravery. Immune to fear and terror. Charge negation. Like, that stuff's all very helpful. Especially for, you know, these kinds of units and whatnot. So, fine. That's done. Let's go ahead and crush this army. They're probably going to try and get away again. They probably will succeed i don't know actually roll them come on nice decisive victory low predicted casualties we can just make this a night battle and delegate it i don't think we have to fight this one there we go it's too bad the animation's the same as uh when it's a cutting weapon like you got a nice big heavy mace there knock his head off or something you know what i mean uh, let's go ahead and take the money good stuff and can we actually make a move towards the Silk Trader up there? A little bit. Let's go. Got this army over here that I'd like to crush as well. They've got they've got a couple of armies, if I recall. Uh, they've got a couple of armies coming towards us. And I could get another spy, maybe. And uh, Han and Yu. That's a very high level individual, actually. 
could send them in against uh, the Kingdom of Ba again. We have someone there already, but they're preparing to return. She might actually get hired. Hmm. You want them down there or up at uh, her Shuman? Go to the Kingdom of Ba instead. Or we could go with... Uh, we can't spy on Tufat Song. They won't... I don't think they hire anybody that isn't uh, like a Yellow Turban Rebellion type faction. Sure. Send you down there. Spy over there. Thank you very much. Up over here. Move. We're good. Down over here. Ma Dai. Can we hit these guys? We can. Throw them back a little bit. Punish them for venturing into my lands. Decisive victory. Low predicted casualties. We'll delegate this. No need to fight it. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, beautiful. 41 loss. That's fine. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and take the uh, income there. Are we close enough to strike you? Unfortunately, no. That's okay. Stay there. No one's leveled up or anything. We're replenishing. Yeah, my dice arrived at the right time. And Taishirts over here. We can pull you back as well. Secured everything over there. We can pull you back or we can pull you south. Maybe pulling you south is not a bad idea. I have three armies. Pick at uh, Kingdom of Wei. Make sure they have no way out. Help us carve our way through their lands. Listen, they're not going to stop. <laughs> I apologize, but they're not going to stop. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and rush down. Why take it slow? Go. I'm not going to upgrade Sangdang. Like, we've got a little bit of money, but I feel like we need to spend that money upgrading um, some cities and stuff. Getting more uh, defenses, getting walls up and things like that. I actually don't know if I'm completely honest. Tufa Tong is scaring me a little bit down over here. I'm wondering if I want to upgrade. Look, I'm glad we got this. I think getting this upgraded scared them off from attacking there. I'll get this fishing port over here with decent defenses. This fishing port over here has got a decent garrison. Wondering if the, uh, where's the city at Chindu? Oh, it's all the way back over here. Okay, so I'm not even worried about this all that much. Yeah, I just don't know. Hmm. Oyang is a town that might get attacked, so we could actually upgrade you into a large town and then perhaps even a city. If these guys get too close, then we'll we'll go ahead and slam a couple of upgrades on here, get the wall set up. Back here, we got a large town. We can upgrade you into a city. Money's doing okay. Who's upset? Why are we upset? And Ping, rebellion imminent. Shouldn't be able to crush a rebellion if it decides to attack us over here. Relatively easily. How much money would we lose out on? From 2840, we'd go down to... 1960, that's pretty big. Let them rebel. Tangan. Why are you upset? Oh, Rebellion Mustering. Yeah, you're fine. That's a lot of money coming through. Dong Hai, we can probably start taxing you again. Good stuff. There we go. That's what I'm talking about in terms of money. And we do have a, um, well, young men. We can probably start taxing you as well. Yep. There we go. We do have an assignment available as well. Let's see, counteract corruption at Tangxia is almost done. We have more counteract corruption available, so we can try and see where that would uh, help us most. We also have these education programs available. Okay, so first of all, Tangxia. How much money are you making us? 2.5k off commerce, zero corruption. If I get another 75% income from commerce over here, that would be huge. The pop growth would be a problem. Can't really sustain that. The other option is this, surplus markets, plus 50% from commerce and 15% from... Oh, there's no industry here. Fair enough. That makes that decision easy. Hmm. Simulate markets. Income from commerce, silk, and spice. Let's see. Up over here, how much are we making from silk? Does it separate it? Yeah. Hmm. 
Now, let's go ahead and stick with uh, Tangsha. I feel like that's the right call over here. Go ahead and get... Uh, where are we? Is there an education program going on over here? Or do we send... No. Let's send uh, Du Heng, perhaps? Kong B maybe could learn... Uh, learn a thing or two while being an administrator. Gotta learn the ropes, right? If he's gonna take control. Which, again, I don't think he should. I think... Uh, I think Sun Ren and Kong Fan should have kids and they should take control, but... Uh, Kong B. Gotta start from the bottom. I think that's the right call. Sure, we've been counteracting corruption so much. Let, let corruption bloom a little bit, am I right? Uh, now, actually, there are some uh, questions and stuff to address as well on... Um, uh, that were in the comments. I try to address them as much as possible whenever possible. I uh, just want to mention that, yes, I, I believe there are upgrades, or not upgrades, but... Uh, benefits to having uh having a complete set in terms of equipment uh for example i believe got yeah so like part of a set mobilizer like these all these all do come together i believe to give some pretty hefty bonuses i can't remember um how i, I guess like for example this helps reduce mustering turns we've got to be better expert of arms helps reduce construction cost so there are little things that uh that you benefit from when you complete the set. Unless I'm reading that incorrectly. Uh, now a couple other questions. For example, doesn't Tang Wu need repairs? No, it does not. Um, either I did them last session or it doesn't need them anymore. Uh, because I guess they didn't manage to get enough damage through. Or maybe they repaired it before I went back in and got it for myself. Um, apart from that, just uh, checking thing. All right, there was a there was a there was a suggestion to send uh, Taishir to northwest. I could do that. He'd have to filter through here and then go up. I I think I'd rather clean up the Kingdom of Wei first and then move up over here. We've got Ma Dai over here playing sort of a defensive role, and then we've got uh, this army over here from Fu Pang able to move in, cause a little bit of damage. But I kind of want to keep a centralized position over here as Lu Su moves in to capture some of this stuff, and Taishir Tse will hopefully loop down this way and then take the river up is what I'm thinking, as these armies move over here. Just want to make quick work of the Kingdom of Wei, and I think that would, uh... I think that would help us out quite a bit. Um... Now, let's see, uh... We also have Her Yan, apparently. This was an interesting suggestion, which, uh, missed my eye. So, again, this is one of the reasons why I... I read through all the comments, and it's because I often might miss things that you guys might catch. So, for example, Her Yan has the Imperial Bow, which is part of the Celestial Fury. And if I can get him the Robe of the Omen Maker, that helps our uh, ranged fire rate significantly. So the Robe of the Omen Maker, I believe, I do not have, actually. We've got the Vestment of Learning. We've got the uh, Tunic of Divination. We do not have Robe of the uh, Omen Maker. So... I just have to find that, for example. Yeah, that was a specific example that was given in the comments. A anyway, so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, some of these notifications here. Assignments, you're, you're being sent out. Killed in battle. Yep, yep, yep. Good stuff. Rebellion imminence. All that spy events. These guys are still moving around. Not having much luck there. Traits gain. Yu Shu is trustworthy. Excellent. That's always good to see among my people. And we've gained the Defender's Leather, which helps with resolve. All right, you know what? Uh, I believe... Not you, but you might need some better armor. Actually, that's not bad armor. The extra charge bonus is nice. It's weird. We got this from our uh, armor craftsman, but it doesn't feel worth it. What about this army? Extra charge bonus. You know what? We, we, could, we could do this swap out over here. Yeah. Looking good. Cool. Good stuff. What else have we got over here? A couple of people who've leveled up, but I think they're not actually involved in anything particular. Yeah, skill points available. That's all good. Not really doing anything right now, though. Um, I could check Lady Wu. She's already got uh, Counteract Corruption, so there's no real point in giving her... Like, that's so important to us. I don't think she needs anything just yet, which is why I'm holding off on spending those points until they actually have a different direction set to them, for example. All right, uh, let's see. Is it time to dive in on another battle? I think it might be. We're ready to move over here. This ambush move worked perfectly, I would say. Because the army that was coming down towards the regional city of Ten 
has pulled back. Uh, I don't know where it went, but it definitely pulled back. So we're actually able to roll in here and uh, get some work done. Pyrrhic victory. So we're going to make it a night battle. We're going to fight it ourselves. We could demand surrender. I doubt they'll surrender. Worth a shot. Yeah, I didn't think so. This is a bigger settlement. Uh, but, you know, we've got the trebuchet. We can get that damage in. Of course, we've got flaming shots and fiery arrows now, if I recall correctly. So we should be able to do this pretty easily. And again, the reason why we're fighting this is because we have to minimize our losses so that uh, we can just keep, keep cutting through their lands. Let's begin. All right, folks. Let's see. Let's see our plan over here. That's like, this is actually a lot of goddamn towers. Holy crap. Back over here, though, not so much. All right. They've got uh, sets of stairs over here. This is what I don't understand about these city plans. It's like, you got all these towers over here. When an army arrives, they're definitely not going to strike from there, though. <laughs> when they see that many towers concentrated in one spot. We can come in through here. Looks like they have the barrier up there. We should be able to break through that pretty easily. Get up to over here. Getting to this city center involves going through a bunch of these towers still, but... I wonder if I'll even need to do that. And hey, we've got uh, got the Spear Guard able to get into turtle formation, so wouldn't be a problem even if we did need to. Uh, let's go ahead and I think enter through here perhaps. One, two, three, four. So, so one, two, three, four. Five towers need to be taken out. Which is fine, we do have the uh, fiery arrows. Not gonna be fun, that's for sure. Go ahead and get you guys set up over here. We'll start from one side and work our way in. Minimize how much damage they're taking on their way through. And I can actually start right over here, firing away unintended immediately. Uh, I'll stay over here, perhaps. Now, this will be able to shoot at us. Yikes. Well, um, maybe we. Uh, Maybe we use the trebuchet a little bit first. I'm just worried about taking pointless damage, you know what I mean? Never like taking damage pointlessly. Maybe one volley each, roughly, I imagine. And then we can pull back really quickly. Alright, let's try it. Let's try it. Just gotta stay on top of it. Let's try it. Uh, trebuchet, well, rather, let's go ahead and get you guys... Over here, I think. And over here. Get you formed up. Want to make sure these guys are able to pull back very easily. Let's get the trebuchet set up over here. They should be able to fire over these trees easily, I hope. Shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I should be able to fire over these trees into these uh, wall sections and then beyond and into the enemy, hopefully. Without too much trouble, we can maybe nudge them up a little bit more. Something like that. Should be clear shots. Better be clear shots. Hate to have to move them. After the battle starts. There we go. That should be fine. Should be fine. Uh, you guys are all set up. Let's go ahead and get you guys set up as well. Perhaps over... Back over here, maybe. They can move through. Get you in the, in there as well. Yeah, and they can move through the gap once it opens up. And once we take care of all their like spears and stuff. Okay, good stuff. And yeah, these guys, we'll make sure to send them through. They do have the 100% uh, plus block chance with the turtle formation and everything. So, we should be fine. Let's get ready to rumble, I suppose. Go ahead and get you guys grouped up as well. There we go. We'll use them afterwards. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's begin. Go ahead and... Open fire over here. One quick volley. That's all we need. There we go. Open fire over here. Get you firing over here and over here. Alright, I'm gonna pull you back. Tower satellite. This gatehouse is satellite. Is that pulled back? What are you doing? There we go. Alright, good stuff. Our uh, trebuchet shots are coming through as well. Hopefully causing a fair bit of damage there. Okay, pull you back, pull you back. Took a little bit of hurt there, but... That's to be expected. Alright. Damage is coming through. Maybe the, the trees weren't the best uh, spot for these trebuchet. I'll pull these guys back a little bit. We've broken through their walls. Another section as well, please. There we go. Hold your fire. That should be big enough, I think. 
So this needs to be taken out. This needs to be taken out. Does this need to be taken out? Uh, kind of. This one definitely, and this one definitely. All right, well, go ahead and get you guys over here. Let's make sure we don't go too slowly either, because we will, uh... We will lose the battle if we take too long. Let's go ahead and fire up there. And over here. Oh, well, first of all, he's over here for everybody. Fair enough. Can't all just miss like that. We only got a couple hits there. That's not so good. Okay, we're coming up. Hopefully able to fire over here soon. Let's go. Get some work done. Shots are coming through over here. Very good. That's what I'm talking about. What's the other one doing? Rotating. Hopefully getting ready to fire. Come on, man. Fine. Fire up there. That's got to be clear shots, right? Can we go over here to fire? Any second now? Good stuff. Get you to fire up over here, maybe, instead. There we go. One volley up there. One volley over here. That should be enough to take care of that. Yep. And that should be enough to take care of that. Hold your fire. Pull back. Very nice. Very nice. Pull back. Pull back faster. Let's go ahead and start sending some of these folk up. Like so. Just march on up. And just march on up. Okay, there we go. Hours getting a lot of work done back there. One step closer to victory. Good stuff. These guys are not having a good time. Get you firing... Where? Over here, perhaps? Wasting a lot of shots. So many archers have died, unfortunately. Alright, spears are moving up. You firing up over here. Even if we miss, we hit, hopefully. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. Destroyed another tower. This one's going to go down soon as well. Ah. Could break this fort wall over here. Maybe fire up over here, or over here. I don't know, it's hard calls. Gotta make sure we're not just missing, aimlessly. This we probably won't be able to hit. It's okay. Towers are all down-ish. Go ahead and move up and fire, maybe... over here. Spears are coming through, more trebuchet shots coming through as well. Good hits. Very good hits. Oh. Come on. These guys are going to want to give up, right? In we go as well. Alright. Archers coming through. Getting ready to fire up at these archers. We're eating some shots over here. More shots coming through. Come on, man. Fire over here. Actually, you should have clear shots up there. You look like you have clear shots over here. Archers are firing away. Regular shots. Getting closer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That tower, I guess, is causing us some trouble to these guys. Guys are climbing down, it looks like. Not before they take a lot of damage, though. Oh, God, I love seeing the hours. Uh, ow, hours. Arrows fly through the air like that. Damage, get damage. Let's go ahead and fire. Over here, perhaps. Trying to run out of ammo. Why are these guys not firing? Just creeping up. Okay. Couple shots coming through. Fire over here. Shots coming through over here. Keep firing at these archers. I don't want to take too much damage back here. Trying to scare those archers off instead. Get to march up a little bit. Come on. We've got this.
Okay, these archers off. Come on now. Those archers coming through as well. Getting a little worried about uh, them being able to hold this line over here. Because I also want to make sure I have enough uh, arrows left to take out some of those towers back there if necessary. Okay, fire over here. They'll probably give up now. Wanted you to fire over here with some flaming arrows. There we go. Fire over here. Okay. In come these shots. Could send my spears in. That's always an option. Turn that off. These guys. <laughs> Just give up already. Alright, I keep forgetting I have to toggle, not toggle that, but switch that. Taking a lot more losses than I'd like. Let's get these guys off. Cannot reach those towers, unfortunately. Move up a little bit. Firing way back over here. Gatehouse is causing us trouble too. Let's move over this way. Letting myself get outnumbered in terms of damage output. Our shot's gonna go way wide over there, aren't they? Oh no, we got a couple hits in there. Good stuff. Okay, rush through. I think it's time to push in. Go. Are we out of range of this tower? This gatehouse, rather? going. Let's keep going. Fire up over here, please. Alright. Almost out of range there. Excellent. We can turn around and fire up over here. We were needlessly taking damage there. Okay, here come these shots. Hopefully we'll take care of these guys. Yeah, good hits. Decent hits. More coming through. Come on. Alright. Archer's letting loose back over here. More trebuchet shots up there. Should finish this nonsense down. Nice. Gonna run out of ammo. That's not so nice. That's the trebuchet, though. These guys about to give up. Spears doing well up over here. Come on. Make them count. Nice. That was really good. One more. Mm, close. <laughs> Not that many volleys left, unfortunately. We can turn around and fire over there. Actually, you know what? Fire over here. Let's get rid of those cavalry units. Oh, so close to breaking. There it is. And we're out of ammo now. Alright, cool. Perfect-ish timing. Let's go ahead and fire into combat. Or do we like, climb onto the walls over here? Very tempting to climb onto the walls. Doing well enough over here. Gatehouse is able to hit us back here, unfortunately. Come on. High arcing fire. Actually, maybe I should save some of that ammo. What is happening over here? This gatehouse is causing us trouble. That's what's happening over there. Gotta move in. Let's go ahead and get our cavalry involved, maybe. I can just poke through. Well, in comes a charge. Hopefully we'll eat it pretty well. Yep, looks like we did. Caused a lot of damage there. Archers, turn around, let loose. Come on, here we go. Fire away. Excellent. Doing okay over here, it seems. These guys are back. Move you up and in. I should just pull you back a little bit. Okay, good stuff. Turning around, fire over here. Let's get these guys off. We need to break through so we can actually send our uh, cavalry in as well. On which note, let's get our cavalry up over here. Uh, over here. Hopefully this thing will be destroyed by the time we get there. Alright, this fire is helping a fair bit. This is not going so well. Move you up. 
Come on, we got that. We need to get that front to break. Go ahead and fire back here. How much longer could you possibly want to fight for? The warriors are running. Shot over there. Come on, give up. Our own men are dying to these arrows. I've actually taken a fair bit of damage on this left side. This is a bit of a surprise. But hopefully now we're able to break through. These guys will hopefully give up. They're so close to it. And hopefully our cavalry is in the right spot here. Oh, look at that. We are actually suffering here. Surprising amounts of suffering. Put you guys back. Send you in. Seriously, you could come through there. Push. Separate you that way. Then you in this way. Then you in this way as well. Looks like we've broken through. Excellent. Now, let's get you through here. Get you through here as well. And we gotta get into uh, formation and everything. Pull these guys back a little bit. Power is ours. Excellent. Let's go ahead and push you through. I'd like to get rear charges there. And you in this way. Got to come in from multiple sides over here. We're able to break through. All right, let's go ahead and hold and prepare for a charge. Hopefully. These guys are coming up as well. All right. Going in. We're going in. Not that much time to win this battle. Pulling you up this way. Yep. Going for a rear charge. Go ahead and get you guys. This way. Let's go. Holding the line here, I hope. Yep. Coming in from the side. Like I said, not a lot of time. So we gotta move aggressively here. Charge you in there. Form you up. Let's go. I think this is a nice charge. We gotta break through this quickly here. In we go. In we go. There it is. And... Took a lot of damage there, I think. Out of there. Most of that unit was actually way back over there. Let's push you through. Go. Get you two coming through as well. Where are you, buddy? Let's get you up here. Come on. Get you all up here. Go. In comes a rear charge over here. Excellent. Yeah, that's doing well for us. That's doing well for us. Charge you a little bit. Go up there. Alright, these guys are falling apart. Looks like they're giving up over here. Nice, we've got you pinned in place. These guys are giving up. Let's move up. Champ. Let's go. There it is. Didn't even have to take the city center. Time to spare. Took a fair bit of hurt on these archers, actually. I'll let them eat 20 shots back here and back here. But overall, close victory. I should have been decisive. I could have done that a fair bit better, I think. This The spears as well, I think they took a fair bit of damage because uh, I left those towers alive. This is why I kind of like my... Um, my OG plan of trebuchet taking out the walls, archers taking out the arch, uh, the the towers, cavalry charging through, just ridiculously making the way for our uh, spear guard afterward. Uh, but you know what? Not that bad. Not not terrible. We'll probably replenish pretty quickly as well, I imagine. Take us uh, two turns. Not the end of the world. And you have leveled up. I'd love to have flexibility right about now. Vengeance is good. Provides scare. <laughs> Friendly, but also vengeance. Uh, ooh. Vanguard deployment for this retinue does not make sense. Reach is probably not a bad idea either. Okay, so vengeance gives us scare, and then later we can get endurance to help with resolve and fatigue resistance. That's actually not bad at all. Fatigue resistance is very helpful. Uh, ooh, flexibility is good. That replenishment when commanding. Well, let's go with vengeance. Enables scare. Morale and own territory when commanding, okay. Uh, but then there's endurance, I think, which is the bigger gain to be had there. Mobility is also not bad. 
but we don't need running speed all that much for a bunch of people that stay in turtle formation. Sure, vengeance it is. Apply that. Good stuff. Up over here, meanwhile. Up over here. This rather strange army could maybe nudge up and get into ambush stance again. Just trying to get closer and closer slowly. Uh, we can pull up to, like, what? Here-ish? No. Sure. Get up to there. Ambush. There we go. See if we can pull something off there. Alright, feeling pretty good. Taishir Tsu is pushing down south still. Good stuff. He has a little bit of movement points left. Come on. Okay, not exactly what I wanted, but... That's going to be a slow approach over here. Fine. That's fine. What else have we got going on? I believe... Right. And South Hill. Oh man. Go ahead and get you as far down as possible. Okay, let's go. Down we go. Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the river. Merrily, 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 merrily. We'll make the rebels quiver. I don't know, man. Listen, on the spot rhyming. That's. I guess that's also wordplay. I should be good at it. You have leveled up, Kong Fen. Boy, let's go ahead and make you unbreakable. Ooh, nobility. That makes sense. 20% range block chance for melee cavalry. Yeah, about that. About that. Let's go with uh, meditation here. Enables unbreakable morale when defending. Again, not the perfect army here. But the army we have. One more turn of replenishment here is probably not a bad idea. So we'll keep you here. Everyone else has moved. Uh, we've done our construction. We can afford a little bit more. What have you done with this city? What is... what? What's the point of plus 25% income from all sources if you have no income? <laughs> if you barely have any income. This is dumb. Alright, alright, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We'll deal with that later. 3,688. I wonder if we can upgrade this a couple of times. Just in case there are any surprises coming our way. Set you up for an upgrade, let's not rush it. Because uh, down here as well, I have some uh, upgrades I want to do. Like this, I can rush now 900, you know, let's do it. Get that uh, garrison set up. But I don't think they're going to provide a threat, actually, because we have this army here as well. Alright, good stuff. I believe we're ready to hit that end turn button. Keep some of that money in the bank. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see what the AI does here. Hopefully nothing too crazy. What are you guys upset about? Alright, am I about to let them have the rebellion? <sighs> this is also... I wonder if I want to rush this, actually. Because I can cancel... This... And that would give me enough money to do this. That reduction in corruption in adjacent territories, adjacent commanderies, sorry, would be quite helpful. We go from 4626 to 5196. That's a pretty big bump. I think that was worth it. Yeah, let them have the rebellion. All right, that's the turn, folks. Let's see what the AI does. And uh, feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. Alright. Pulling back. I see what you're up to. You think you sense a weakness. You think wrong. You think wrong. Funny thing is, I also think wrong. I've been thinking wrong since the beginning of this campaign. But I'm supposed to think wrong. When I think wrong, I'm thinking right. They don't know the way to think. They only know the way to die. It is actually going pretty quickly. I'm not surprised. Cao Cao, so Cao Cao has been a pain since the beginning. Like, he hasn't cooperated with our coalition that we had. He hasn't, like, been friendly with trades and stuff. He's been friendly with the wrong people all the time. Like, Cao Cao has been a pain. Um, and, uh, and now his comeuppance is coming quickly. Which I'm very happy about. Now, one more turn of replenishment over here. They are able to attack us, but I do think between the garrison and this army, we're probably fine over here, even if all three of these armies come down, honestly. Plus, over here, I might actually be able to swing by, and uh, yes, I can put them under siege. Now, do we have night battles here? We do. Oh my god, do I go in and pick these armies out one at a time, and then take the city as well? That would be pretty epic. That would be pretty epic, but I actually don't know if we have enough movement points 
to do all of that, I should be able to. This garrison isn't that big. Well, the army and this garrison is small as well, actually. God knows we've got enough ranged capabilities. What I worry about with this army is uh, its melee capabilities. It's a pretty poorly constructed army, but... Again, it was a desperate... Remember, this was the army that was raised to desperately defend Hedong. These guys have been through some crazy stuff. They fought valiantly. They held back, what was it, three, four armies from Lu Bu? Like, these guys have a story to tell. And that's what I like about these, like, silly compositions, even with, like, Ma Dai, for example. Like, there's a story to tell. Uh, they've done things together. They fought together. I don't know. I like that kind of stuff. Let's go ahead and delegate this. No need to fight this. Chop him in half. Come Oh, God! Oh dear, <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Uh, but at the same time, I'm glad it happened. All right, take the money. Do we loop you back over here to crush some of these armies? Make them pay. Yeah, just to get rid of the harassers, I guess. This guy, I think, is still pulling back. Oh, I actually managed to get away. Should have kept them trapped. Okay, let's go ahead and finish you off. Pull down. Shouldn't be too hard a battle, I now, because of the mountains, I can't actually see. Oh, yeah, I can make it. Time to die. Delegate this one as well. No need to fight this. Okay, that was the same animation. I like that. I, I like that animation a lot, actually. Whoever did that, good job. <laughs> okay, money made. Ooh. Take the ransom. And that horse looks awfully nice. Ma Dai, our horse commander. I think you need a new horse. Now, unfortunately, this helps with cunning. So it would make a lot more sense for somebody who's got range capabilities, unfortunately. Ah, for example, you get some more ammo in there, or maybe even... It's too bad Buddy doesn't have Flaming Shot before we go into the this siege. But we have a couple of Black Stallions, actually. Oh, you already have one. So you get the other one. <laughs> These two are matched. Okay. Yeah, we need... Uh... Need flaming shots up in here. Quickly, please. Taishir Tzu, again, unfortunately, you have to cross and then attack. Which is too bad, but you know what? Even just crossing the river might draw some attention up over here. Okay. Just too far away. Okay, it's okay. Rebellion here has popped. Doesn't scare me all that much. Not yet, at least. It'll grow, but I'm not worried about it just yet. Now, we did see an army come over here and I think set up an ambush. Uh, but I think if we move up this way, that ambush will not succeed. And I do believe we're able to reach Wudu. Yep, yeah, okay. So that's something I might want to do up there. Down over here, Sunren has fully replenished. Oh, these guys have arrived just in time. Just in time. I kind of want them... They're not gonna. I wonder if they'll take... Wu, because I've got a big army over here. So I wonder if I block this access point off. If they'll move up that way, take Tsangwu, because that way I can take Tsangwu off of them without having to go to war with the Han Empire. Um, and also destroy this army. And then take this livestock farm, get this commandery. Oh, this isn't good. This is beautiful. Uh, sorry, got distracted there. The rice paddy here. As something of a garrison should be defendable, based on what I see on the campaign map. Would be a tough fight. Okay, interesting. Yeah, Tufa Tong is kind of crazy. What's going on here? Ooh, Ma Dai and Tianxi have become Oathsworn. Nice. Okay, uh, sorry. Um, go ahead and deal with some of this nonsense first. Let's go ahead and get you... Where? and move you down first like this army i mean i might want to pull up towards like the toolmaker or something toolmaker could use some help in defending itself and then we can push down it would take a couple of turns unfortunately but I i'd rather not lose a settlement like why lose a settlement right because these guys will either hit the toolmaker or the small city the small city if they hit then i have time and i have a decent garrison let's go ahead and pull you up into the toolmaker and now it'll take us, what, four turns? Jesus. Or three turns up to here. Force March will make it, what, two turns? One turn? Two turns. So that's fine. Not too upset about that. Now here, do we have... We do have night battles here as well. So these these guys can actually pull off a pretty dope pincer. Um, 
Actually, we're just short. That's too bad. If we force Marsh, we can get close enough. And maybe we do a huge battle for Yingtuan. The seat of power of the Kingdom of Wei. That'd be pretty cool. We would take... Let's see. If we move in, then this turn we would take this. Uh, see, Or I could push them down over here and take the farmland. So that it'd be... Within the next two turns, we would take the large town, the farmland, the large city. The lumberyard would be all that's left. While down here, Lu Su will push through and take uh, Shang Yong back. Are you serious? You still can't get there? God, these mountains are terrible. That sucks. Okay, that's a problem. This, not so much. Alright, well, lots to do. Lots of progress to make in every direction. I don't think peace is coming anytime soon. I'm doing quite well in these wars, so why would I ask for peace if I'm completely honest? This, this doesn't make sense. And I don't think any of you want to see peace right now either. Uh, again, because we were doing so well. What I need to consider also is where I sent uh, send a third spy. Maybe back to her shoemen. Uh, just to get some eyes out and see what the hell else they're up to over here. That might not be a terrible idea. And hopefully the Kingdom of Ba will get some eyes on... Yeah, some of their armies and stuff. They won't be too difficult to take out either. This has been a pretty successful episode, I would think. We've made our way through the Kingdom of Wei, and I hope you've enjoyed watching that. If you had, uh, or if you have, sorry, you know what to do. Leave a like and a comment down below. It really helps me make decisions for the channel, as I was explaining earlier. Uh, yeah, this is going pretty well. So much for a tall campaign, eh? As always, a massive thanks does go out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.